for making it high res. So this is off the internet, Art Nouveau um, image. Uh, go to the image size, 50 centimeters as well, at 72. Let's make it 300 dpi. Um, right, let's go into the channels and see the one that with the most contrast. I think that one's best. Just copy it, just paste it on top of that, uh, and then go to grayscale. Um, discard, yep. Yeah. Now we need to, it's at 300 dpi now. If I blur it a little bit more, this will be better. And then I normally do curves, but let's look at the threshold. And that might be faster. Um, there you go. About there. Thing about threshold is it's a bit. Um, it's a bit heavier handed. So you've got some pixels there. As you can see, some stair stepping, which you wouldn't get if you used curves. So. Let's just blur this again. Not as much as that. Just till there. And then um, just use curves this time. Um, because then you can be a bit more precise with it. That looks okay. So you can see it one to one, it looks pretty, pretty decent. There's a couple of areas like that that I'd probably fix. Um, but yeah, so th this is at 300 dpi now and it looks, you know, the quality's good. Um, I'm inclined to finish off those bits there with maybe a, just a little brush. Hard brush actually, not a soft one. I'll probably... Um, Probably just fix those and that bit and um, where maybe that. I'm doing this with a mouse, so we're not being very accurate with it. Anyway, so once you've done that, you could, in theory, just if I select that, copy it. Let's clear that to to white. Come out and come back in with a. Quick mask. I just hit Q on the keyboard. Hit Q on the keyboard again. Um, and it turns it into a selection. If I make a new layer and fill that with black um, or whatever colour I want, really. You know, so if I wanted purple or blue, no purple. Uh, so then I just go. Option Shift Delete, which uh, which is oh I'm still in RGB aren't I? Pretty nice. Uh, sorry, CMYK. Don't flatten. So I could just fill it, uh, and, and it's the same as clicking on this button here. And then if I just do Option Delete Fill, or I can just not bother with that. That says fill anything that's not transparent. So uh, so that's. You see the transparent pixels there, there's the checkered pixels, and if I fill, um, then that's how that works. Um, so that's that. And as for colouring it, well, that's another option. You can go in here and just um, make a selection around the face area. I would actually use a path to do this normally. Siri thought I'd said something. Um, let's have a look. So I just made it a pink colour. Now I can go around and sort of colour the image. Could maybe even do it. With just a brush. Uh, 
Um, I could maybe get away with actually making a selection, but so if I'm in a selection on the hand there, let's make sure I'm on the right left. If I'm in a selection on the hand, that would probably do it. The thing is, the thing to do now is to make that selection a little bit bigger. So I'm going to, um, I haven't done this for years, uh, what is it, expand, expand and contract the selection. Is that what that does? By five pixels. Yeah, that's the one. I haven't used that for a long time. Um, so then there's no overlay, you know, there's not, there's not a little white line around it where it didn't make the selection. Um, and if I want to s say I wanted to select the entire thing, if I click on the outside like that, oh, is that working? No, I've got the wrong there. If I s click on the outside like that and then invert it, Command Shift I, I go in here and fill the whole thing in a color, you know. Um, so, I c yeah. Now the thing is that the hair needs to be a separate element. So, um, how would I do that? I think if, if I was normally doing this, I'd probably just click all the pink bits. Um, yeah. Um, invert that like that, and then just color that a different color hue and saturation I mean I probably wouldn't do it like this but you know that's just so there's a blue so it's quite quickly colored that image there's a few bits there that aren't right actually like that bit there some of these probably need to be transparent like these ones here and um, they look daft otherwise delete that from the coloured layer. Uh, let's put the background on. No, I can't put it on black, can I? As it won't, it will disappear. Um, let's look at that close up. That's pretty good. Oh, that's probably not right. Yeah, so that's more or less it. Probably go in there and just fix this little bit here. Uh, I'd always do this sort of path by just doing this. Just, just showing you quick, quickly how to do it. And then if you wanted to sort of shade it, you could, I suppose. Um, so at the moment I've got this and I've got this over the top. Um, shade this by using dodge and burn or whatever or just a curve really or what I'll do is here is I'll just go into hue and saturation and just change the hue to be a slightly different type of pink or maybe a different type of blue uh, and then I'd hit um, option delete, which is fill, command D. Uh, D um, makes the swatch default. Now I'd um, be inclined just to paint that blue in. You see what's happening here? I'm painting in a, you know, a different shade. Which is one way of doing it, I suppose. Um, yeah, so anyway, but that that's how to make a, a very simple black and white um, image. I download that from Flickr. The British Library have things, um, everything online at the moment. So that's cool. Anyway, 
I revert it back. And there it is. That's what it was like before. All right.